I got the lobby loaded up. Just kind of wanted to show you guys. So I have a uh, controller layout here. The Vive Wands and the Oculus controllers orientated with instructions. So, you know, your triggers showing, your grip showing, um, use, interact, and climb. Uh, top button here is clip eject. It's going to be the same thing. It's going to be uh, the button. Uh, move and snap turn is your pad, and it's going to be joysticks for the Oculus. Um, and then, of course, you have your Oculus Home, and then there's a little note down here to double tap forward to sprint. So um, that's what I just did to uh, get that quick movement. Um, we have maps and modes listed here. If you was to find games, it'll list all of the currently played sessions. And that means like um, if someone's in the lobby and they hit start game and it's public, you'll see it listed here too. <clears throat> um, currently the dev maps here in the apocalypse map is here with the zombies in it. Um, only time it won't be public is if you host a LAN game. And uh, you can search for those LAN games as well. And currently, I'm not listing dedicated servers in the list. Um, we don't have one spun up for Battle Royale just yet. Um, but that's on the way. So, um, as you can see, this is the, the drop-in lobby map. And it's kind of laid out to paint a story. So, the plane is going to be... Um, Literally, you can go over there, get on the plane, and it'll execute the Battle Royale uh, map. And uh, the same goes for, like, the Apocalypse map. So if you're, like, out here messing around with the firing range or um, doing some skirmishing with, like, a buddy in the houses or whatever, um, or playing tic-tac-toe over there with grenades, <clears throat> you can... Just head to one of these locations, and this will be like, you know, in-world interaction to head to the zombie apocalypse area, and this will be in-world interaction to head to the Battle Royale map taken off on the plane. So we have some weapons laid out here. We have a nice little gun course for you to run through. Um, currently, you can kill other players in this in this area. Um, <clears throat> you know, things, things will explode, you will die, and, uh, you'll respawn. Um, so, even though it's a lobby, you still have, like, your basic rules, right? Um, voice chat is enabled, uh, so... It's just another play space for you to mess around in, and um, there's not really a lot of threats here. Um, and there's not a lot of weapons, so you can't really grief players all too much. Um, but there's going to be, like, a lot of this kind of stuff in the future, where we put in, like, just kind of these crazy mini games that you can start up with a friend. Um, I think this is uh, literally... Tic-tac-toe with grenades, which I suck at at at, uh, <laughs> at making the grenade in the box. Yay, I made a grenade in the box. Um, so, you know, you can start this up with a buddy and play tic-tac-toe. And I uh, think this side is X's and that's O's. Um, but Knighted is still working on this. So, in the meantime, you can grief your buddy with grenades and all that good stuff. Um, we have a vehicle over here, and um, the vehicle is drivable, um, behaves pretty well, and uh, as the game progresses, there'll be more of this kind of stuff. Um, we, we have like a handful now, there's like maybe five um, vehicles ready to go, but they, uh, they're, they're pretty simple, I haven't explained how this works, but... Immediately you want to go grabbing on stuff, but it, it's really easy. You just grip the steering wheel with the trigger interact button, right? And whichever hand you grip the steering wheel with, you just push forward on that analog stick. 
and forward is gas, backwards is brake, and if you're on Vive Wands, it's the pad, right? Um, and that's it. Um, right now, there's these little... I wonder if it's going to keep trying to roll forward. I didn't, I didn't completely stop it all the way. Um, right now, there's these little um, collision sphere type grippy things. Um, and they'll be replaced later on with like interactive, um, like, uh, grip to, to enter type heads up, uh, notifications. Um, we left the dev map in, which is basically like our main mechanics map. It has like every weapon that we're working on currently melee and, um, guns. Um, it has a lot of physics interactable objects. It has moving targets. Um, all the vehicles are lined up in the back back there. There's a loop to loop. Uh, so a lot of people just jump into that to have like a quick little fun play session. And then we have the currently worked on apocalypse map, which this is really like a little bit more high, strong and stressful than these maps because the AI is pretty um unforgiving uh they don't use perception they just spawn and look for a target a random target uh usually the closest one to them and they're relentless they're not going to stop you know uh chasing you down until you die or they die um and it's currently my favorite mode to play solo but whenever people are on uh, it doesn't really matter. I like the uh, social experience. So you just highlight the map you want to play and you hit start and it's going to load you in. Um, item spawning is in. We put the grip assist in. So gripping items, you don't have to literally bend over anymore. You kind of have this little bit of a distance that you can uh, pick up items. Um, if your health gets low, you might want to hold on to these guys they come in handy let's see I can use that clip ah oh, I got another gun Oh, I heard him over there. Oh. Like I said they're a bit, a bit relentless. Um, they just keep coming. So you'll notice that the uh, there is a a lobby men or should I say a game session menu in every map, and uh, oh, you just have to hunt it down and find it. But it allows you to see if any other sessions are active at any given moment. And who knows, maybe later I'll um, I'll I'll make something that you keep physically on your body and you can toss out like a grenade and it'll spawn it. But I don't want people to just uh, like grief and jump out of the session anytime they want to avoid being shot or something like that. Boom. 
Hmm. Yeah, I could use some of that pistol ammo. Ooh, scared the mess out of me, man. Oh no. Oh no. getting a little bit of frame drops. I think my antivirus is doing its thing on top of me playing and recording. So, um. <laughs> Looks like I have some collisions to clean up in here too. Oh, that was a crappy throw. I'm dead. Yep, my own grenade got me. Why are you, why are you in the corner? <laughs> All right. I need to go check out the um the the sanctuary over here. Negan. Check out Negan. Should have shut that back up. Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta go down here. I'm sorry. You'll have to come back later. Eh, the trader doesn't want to trade. Uh -huh. I'll take that camouflage mask, though. Did you get some boo boos? I need a. I don't have any guns. Wrap ton of zombies out there. Well, I think I'm gonna call it. That's pretty much it. Um, it's pretty fun, especially with a bunch of friends. But they are just coming all out of the woodwork, aren't they? Anyway, uh, until next time, y'all have a good one.